Kia ora tātou, uh, ko aroha wari taku ingoa. This is my first video for my kaho journey. Um, this video I'll be sharing with you uh, my highlights uh, from our Sunday Zoom. Uh, we had an amazing guest speaker. Um, his name was Tamati Norman, uh, all the way from Whangaruru. Um, and for me, I personally liked it, I loved it because all of our guest speakers on a Sunday so far have been um, from a wahine point of view. So it was nice to just have, have it mix up um, and having a male share his backstory and also share his business ventures. Uh, he lives this life um, based from this whakatauki. Hea hate mea nui o tēnei ao. Mā koe ki atu ki a koe, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. And I understand how he connects with that particular proverb. So being, being that he, he grew up back home in a shed, he, he, he named it a shed, uh, back home in Whangaruru, um, surrounded by his whānau, he also mentioned his grandmother, who I'm assuming had uh, some type of influence in his life. Uh, she was a bit of an activist, and I believe that um, he also inherited uh, some of that um, you know, manaake from his grandmother um, that gave him that, that bold courage, um, that tenacity attitude, um, that he, he executed perfectly uh, when he got into the business. Um, when he was about 17 years old, yeah, this is a cool story, it's, it's storytelling. When he was 17 years old, he went and did some studies. Um, something happened with the gradings when the gradings come back and he, he pretty much sent out a challenge to to the people who marked this work and he said hey if you don't pass me i'm gonna see you in court and i thought man you know that's a pretty bold statement you know pretty you know gutsy and he was only 17 years you know 17 years old at that time um and so he he carried that that mana that strength about him even as he got older he spoke about his beautiful wife, who was from Papua New Guinea, from the island of Misano. Yep, Misano. Um, and I think they're just absolutely cool as. They took their uh, whānau name, his whānau name and her whānau name, joined it, mehono, joined it, and created the name of their business, which was, sorry, I'm just looking down here at my papers. Should probably try and write it a little bit neater so I can read my writing. Romac, Romac Industries. And there was also um, a time there where he just, he was the type of person that just doesn't take, an, doesn't take no as an answer. You know, just challenge, you know, like, nah, I'm not taking your no, sorry. Um, he, he, talked about numerous, numerous business ventures, but he also showed a side of him where he showed his vulnerable, emotional side and and just really giving us a, a glimpse of, you know, the, the strain that can take on our hiningaro when you're coming into, you know, business ventures. And to be honest, I felt that for the first time last week pushing through our kaho mahi, and again this week. Um, he's the type of person that stepped out of his comfort zone. He was gutsy and ballsy and didn't have no fear in making uh, business propositions with huge companies, so much so that um, he sealed a deal that was worth thousands of dollars and the fella didn't even have the product. <laughs> but he sealed the deal with a massive his, uh, business company. Um, long story short, he, he worked his magic and he found the product and sealed the deal. And I'm just like, bro, this guy is amazing. Um, 
he was also he told somebody i can't remember if it was a teacher a tutor um his goal he wanted to become a chef and this person said no you won't be a chef you'll probably only be a I think it was a concrete concrete layer or drain layer something like that um and again he he wasn't taking that as you know nah nah i'll, I'll show you one day and that's exactly what he did he's in the food industry um he has a massive company um he talked about also that's right the importance of uh your business partners and to just really check and make sure that um, you, you know you, you've got to kind of watch your back and, and when you're going into uh, business with a partner and um, just just having your basis covered really talked about knowing your why you must know your why you've got to know your customer avatar um, because it's really really important you want to know who it is that you're selling to um, know your mission be focused he talked about he talked about being focused but not just focused like he actually said focus like focus 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 laser focus on your mahi on your business in regards to your customer avatar um, and don't deviate don't do it just don't do it cousin don't deviate focus laser focus um, neon light okay he, he shared the story about a neon light you're in your car cruising down the highway you see this bright as neon light on the side of the road advertising the best chicken burgers in town what's gonna make you wanna go like turn off the highway and go and have a look at this place with the neon lights and try out the the chicken burger that they're saying is absolutely the best um so you, you know you want to be able to create a business that's got a pumping uh purpose and also have that uh neon light that neon light about their business you know what makes your business with your chicken burgers um uh, so amazing supposed to go into mcdonald's or burger king or wherever whatever um neon light neon light uh know your mission yes absolutely okay we got through that um oh check this out okay. so shopify he was the first the first uh from new zealand to have a shopify account um called native native rituals native rituals so you know in the e-commerce space me being in the space learning he i can say i fuck a papa from his e-commerce um journey as well because he was the first and this man uh he knows the stuff he's been around and but in saying that he also um how did he how did he say it uh he also um you know took some mean as losses and one part there he just got really emotional and just just as being being his real raw self where he talked about the death of his business partners uh Vano, and how that had a huge impact on him um and that just really gave me a bit of insight to uh you know just to really self-care and how it can be an emotional uh roller coaster ride being in business put it that way um and to surround yourself with good people like-minded people but also people that you can trust you know somebody where you can ring your mates and just completely drop everything and just have a big massive tongue if you need to you know that type of person that type of person you can 100 percent trust them um find a piece of paper wrapping it all up um oh yeah i, I wanted to finish with this 
he experienced during his journey one particular time where well, he talked about fail fast fail fast some of his businesses fell like drastically fell and it you know it wounded him it caused wound emotionally spiritually everything um and during one of his downs because he's he also mentioned he's a very spiritual person he has this connection you know with the atua and he spoke about hearing this voice which he, he, he believes was, um, you know, the atua. And this voice said to him, I have not given you a spirit of fear. Do not be afraid. And that was enough to uh, boom, back up. And that resilience just kicked straight in and the man just got straight back up. Um, and again I'll finish with this and this is why it's so important in business to surround yourself with other like-minded people that are on the same kaupapa as you um, you know to be a winner y'all got to be rolling and running with the winners yeah if you're rolling in a circle of people that, that's not about your kaupapa you need to think about it and move yourself so that you're surrounded by good people and and those that are on the same kaupapa um move fast master your skill and as an entrepreneur know that you are enough know that you are enough i had a massive breakthrough and i took it from uh tamati's corridor on sunday Yesterday, because of his share, yesterday, I challenged myself and I stepped into uh, a space that I've never done before, but it was just, I just picked up on his courage and I made a request to a program designer. She's actually another akunga on the kaha program. And we did a one-on-one -on -one for about an hour and a bit quarter um, on Facebook. And it was totally outside of my uh, my norm. But, you know, because that was the kind of attitude he had, this tenacity, this fearlessness about him. He would go and knock on doors. He would show up as the uninvited and invite himself because he's, he's just going to, you know, oh, I've got, I'm here to do business. I'm here to do some money. And so I did that with one of these ladies on our on our course, and um, boom! See again, I didn't even have to know who. We are like-minded people, both creating, you know, a notion of building our business, our e-commerce store. We were able to bounce off one another. She's a nutritionist. She has worked um, in the health sector, and I needed. Um, some of her corridor because that aligns with my whole um, business that I'm working towards and building. I have just been talking for so long. Um, so I'm just going to wrap it up right now. All in all, straight up, our, our wahine every Sunday have been absolutely amazing. I've gotten so much from them. But I have to say, man, straight up, hands down, hands up and down, down, up and down, whatever. Tamati, his korero, boom, something has awakened my wairua, my hiningaro, from his share on Sunday. So much so, I literally actioned, activated a button somewhere to be brave and start reaching out to other successful business people who have the knowledge and the skills that I acquire in order to build my business as a hoara coach and i did it and i'm also got some other plans that i plan to do and um step out and do so that's it that's it folks Tina tata katsua. that's my first video um four weeks six in regards to 
my car hold journey and our belief changer um tamati norman from whangaruru kia ora tātou.